Ralphie Elversa, a host of Ralphie Tonight on WPLJ Radio right here in New York. Ralphie, you're a big fan. I knew you knew the man's music. Of course. As everyone did. You mm -hmm. really experienced it, don't you think, whenever you would listen? Brenda, absolutely. And, and even for somebody like me who's only 30 years old and who has primarily covered pop music, you couldn't cover almost any genre of music without at some point talking about Prince or interviewing somebody that was close to him, certainly somebody that was influenced by him as well. What do you think his legacy will be? Uh, certainly the idea of pushing the envelope and the cliche breaking the mold, if it applies to anyone, I think it certainly will uh, apply to Prince. But the way he influenced not just those in the 80s, you know, his best body of music arguably came out in that decade, but the uh, generations of artists to follow. He spoke so softly and yet he made statements so often about sexuality, about race, about so many issues, didn't he? Even recently with Freddie Gray and his death in Baltimore, uh, of course, Prince releasing the song Baltimore, and that was one of the songs on his final album as well. So yeah, throughout his career, he was not afraid to make a statement, uh, whatever the case may be, in whatever realm. You got to meet his muse. Yeah, Damaris Lewis, who's from Brooklyn. Uh, I've interviewed her a number of times on my show through the work that she does with the Garden of Dreams Foundation uh, here in the city. And it was interesting because the last time we chatted, I had seen that they were at a basketball game together. They're at a Golden State Warriors game together. Check it out, Steph Curry against Kevin Durant and the Thunder. And I asked her, I said, what's it like to be out in public with him? Because Prince is a different type of celebrity. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, she said that he's just like you and I. He talks and he's cool. And But she said the difference is Prince has such a level of respectability with others that people don't approach him. People don't really disrespect his private space. Do you wish you'd ever partied with him? Well, I was at a party with him once, but again, speaking to Damaris's point, you know, it, he wasn't the type of celebrity where you'd run up to him and try to take a selfie. You gave him his space. He respected that. Uh, it was still cool to, to be in his presence. Ralphie Aversa, you're so wonderful to, to just, just to talk with us today. What do you think you will miss most, or what, is he, what will his fans miss most about it? Well, I, I think anybody that didn't get the chance to see him live will certainly regret that, and that's probably what they'll miss the most is that live e experience from Prince. Because it is something to behold, isn't it? Absolutely. No question. Everyone talks about experiencing him because so often, like you said, you can't really get close and, and he won't allow you to take the, the pictures and so forth. So you're right. That is what you will miss most. Thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate you talking with us. Brenda, thanks. Ralph Aversa, thank you. Back to you, Tamsin. All right, Brenda, thank you.